Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys new here on my channel, my name is Alison and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to show you guys what I've been loving in this month, my April favorites video. And if you guys like watching favorites video, please make sure you guys subscribe down below because I'll be doing it every single month. And without further ado, let's get started. So this month I have two categories of favorites. So first of all, I have makeup and then I have skincare and body care. So I'm gonna start with my makeup favorites because I know a lot of you guys are here for the makeup. So for this month, this is nothing new and I'm sure you guys know this is coming. This is the YSL Touch Eclate All-in-One Glow Tinted Moisturizer. I always say this is a foundation because I'm so used to wearing foundation. So out of all the tinted moisturizer I've tried this month, my Lancome Skin Feels Good Tinted Moisturizer, the A Cosmetic Bye Bye Foundation, all of those, this is my favorite because it gives me a very lightweight finish, it blurs out my pores, and I really like the finish of it and it does last very long on my oily skin. So this tinted moisturizer has become my favorite of this month if I'm on the go or I'm just meeting up my friends, I just wear this every single day now. And I want to quickly mention I'm using the shade BD40 and if you guys want to see how it works on my oily skin, I'm going to lift the cards up here. And this is the oil-free long-lasting hydration and I feel like this is the best tinted moisturizer I've tried. And I know this is more of a higher price point. I mean, if I found something that I love and it does work on my skin tone, my skin type, then I'll be investing the money on this product. And move on to the next product. I have this product for a while. I actually did a Fenty Beauty review on my channel. If you guys want to check it out, i leave it up here. But this is the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. This is in the shade Mocha. This is a rediscovery of my collection because I tried it out and I didn't know if I like it or not. I just leave it aside and try another new makeup. But now that I come back to my Fenty and I found this, so this is just a contour stay and it's in this really nice beige mauve color tone and I really like the formula and at first I don't think I would like it because it feels really dry but then when you apply on your skin it's still very smooth finish. I like the color, it blends very nicely. So recently I did purchase this Lancome Stick Foundation. I purchased this as a contour shade and this is in the shade 420 Bisque. But when I swatch it side to side with Fenty Beauty, this is the Fenty Beauty, this is the Lancome. I feel like this color is just a little bit too warm for my like. I like this color because it does have a little cool tone, but it's not too warm up, kind of like bronzer on my face. So this is more like you warm up your face if your foundation is too light. And I really like the formula on the Lancome one, but I like the shade on the Fenty Beauty one. If I can find the shade on the Lancome one, I'm definitely gonna keep it. And move on to the next makeup product. This is not something new to you guys. I did mention this on my Sephora VIP recommendation videos, and this is the Bare Minimals Gen New Powder Blush. I got two shades here, that Peach Doe and Let's Go Nude. Let's Go Nude is more like a natural, bronzer kind of color but it's more like for blush this is more like an everyday look and for the that peach doe color this is more like a peachy tone but still it gives you a very natural finish and i really like the formula on this it's very finely melt powdery and it just looks very very natural on your foundation it blends very nicely on top of your powder your foundation everything so i feel like this is more like a natural blush it gives you the color but it doesn't feel like kicky or it doesn't blend well with your bronzer or on top of your foundation your powder it just blends so nicely on top of everything and it feels so smooth on the powder so on this side this is the shade let's go nude and this is more like everyday look i like it on the more bronzy side, kind of mix it with my bronzer or if you don't put bronzer on, you can just put this on your cheekbones, kind of blend it into your bronzer. And on the other side, this is the color on that peach dough. And this is more like a peachy color, but not too peachy, you know, if you guys know what I mean. I just really like this shade. It's very easy to match with your eye look or any look that you're going for. And the formula on this, again, is very buttery. It feels nothing and it blends very nicely. And also it feels like it melts your skin kind of blush. And I really like this too formula, the color, everything on it. So the last product I want to say I didn't use it for the whole month. So I kind of cheat on this product. I use it at the end of the week 
in April and I just fell in love on this product. I did a review also on this collection if you guys want to check it out. So this is the Smashbox crossover Falada. Falada is a makeup artist and she's really known for the lips with dropping kind of lips kind of makeup. She has an Instagram, you guys can check her out and see her makeup. And this is the collection she crossed over with Smashbox. I really like the packaging, it's rose gold. And then on different side, you can see the lips and the rose is dripping down. So that is like the whole concept and her makeup look. So in this eyeshadow palette, it comes in eight different shades and there is only two matte color and six shimmer color so the reason i've been loving this eyeshadow palette because of the shades and it's just very pigmented very buttery and it applies very nice on top of your lid and i really like the shimmer shades here because they are very iridescent and it suits like now the makeup kind of look and all the shades here is very unique i don't think i can find anything in my eyeshadow palette it does have this color and especially i like the pink one right here and this kind of orangey look because it really suits that summer spring kind of look and i can use a lot of different shades here to, to create a lot of different unique eye look because i don't have any shades like this and in this palette i really like how she combines two matte shades so one shade is more like a transition or a base color if you guys have a darker skin tone for me i'm light medium skin tone and i use this as a transition color and on this shade i use it as an outer v corner just kind of carve out your outer v and all these shades is just very universal to use on your eye and it just looks very nice iridescent look so here i'm just gonna swatch three shades right here i just lightly dab it on the eyeshadow palette and this is how pigmented it gives you on the eye i really like this shades right here it's like a bronzy pg kind of tone i just like this one for the spring summer look and i really like this shade it just gives me a lot of different kind of look for more of a bronzy tone because i'm a bronzy eyeshadow kind of girl and i really like this shade to kind of mix with my bronze tone i'm telling you this eyeshadow palette you have to get it because it's just amazing it's so buttery it's so pigmented and it's just a color that you can find on any eyeshadow palette at least I don't have it in my collection with this kind of eyeshadow shades. And I have to say this is the best Smashbox purchase that I've made. I don't normally purchase a lot of Smashbox stuff. And this is the best eyeshadow palette I have discovered this month so far. So the next item I want to talk about is the mascara. And if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I don't talk much about mascara because I do have very picky eye. My eye tends to get very oily. My eyelid or my eye inside my eye is just very oily and anything that I put on top of my lashes it just tend to fade on or transfer on the lower lash line so I don't talk much and now that I discovered this mascara I actually purchased this on January when Kathleen like talks about it on her favorites video so I've been trying this out for a few months and now I'm safe to say this is my favorite mascara so far I mean if you guys are struggling taking off your mascara at the end of the day this would be your to go mascara because this is so easy to remove you can just remove this with the hot water not necessarily you need a cleansing oil and this is just the most easy take off mascara i've tried i would say this is more on the pricey side because you do have to pay i think five dollars for shipping unless you spend 85 dollars and you get a free shipping on their website so this is in the brand thrift cosmetic and i really like their name cosmetic because it's not the regular spelling of cosmetic but it's cosmic up and it's cosmetic I, if that makes sense but i'll leave the name here so the name of this mascara is the liquid lash extension mascara it does give you length and volume so this is a flick free liquid fiber technology combines buildable fibers and korean plant extracts for instantly longer thicker lashes it does have ochre stem cell complex stimulates encourage lash growth but i really like this brand that it says beauty with a purpose 
For every product that you purchase, we donate one to empower a woman fighting through cancer and domestic violence. So when you purchase an item, they're gonna donate the money to a charity. So I really like the brand who really helps out the woman who needs and I really like purchasing the item, you helping another as well. And for the main purpose, I like this mascara because it does give me length, it does give me volume, and it's just very easy to remove at the end of the day. That's why I'm liking this mascara and I've been using it for a few months now. I say it doesn't flick on my under eye and now it doesn't get really hot so I can't really tell and test it in the hot weather but now I tried it and I didn't see it transfer on my lower lash line so moving on to the last makeup item I've been loving this month not only this month because I've been using this for a straight two months since I purchased it and this is the Morphe sculpting sponge I believe they have the foundation one but this is more like a contour sculpting sponge I really like the size of it and I really like it does have two flat side you can do whatever you want and seriously this is the most amazing sponge I've used so on this sponge what I like about it because it doesn't just absorb my foundation even though I'm using my all-in-one glow foundation and I have to say a lot of makeup company are coming out like a sponge like this and I have to say I haven't used my beauty blender like the real beauty blender for a year or two now because a lot of company are coming out a better version of a beauty blender so now that i've been stick on the morphe sponge so that is all basically what i've been loving on the makeup this month and now let's move on to the skincare hair care and body care item and first of all i have to talk about this i've been using this for two to three months now so this is the Creology if you guys don't know what Creology is basically a online version of a dermatologist you just have to answer all the questions what you have concern on your face what have you been using on your face for your skincare nighttime or morning time routine and they are just gonna give you a prescription on what you need in the description back here and this has been helping me a lot this two to three months I have to say and I have to say since I use this every single night I don't get any breakout if I do get breakout it usually just dies down in two days and there's just one time because of a foundation that caused me breakout it does take a little bit more time but this I have to say it saved my skin I never get breakout this two months because of this product it has been helping me out a lot I mean I have to swear by this I mean it doesn't really necessarily help every breakout you have you have to be aware of your diet and how your sleeping schedule because your body is still your body so Creology has been helping out my skin issues my acne prone skin and you do have to send a few pictures on side to side how your face situation looks like now so that they can help you prescribe the uh, right ingredients for your skin issues so moving on to the next item this is a sunscreen that I've been using for I'll say two months now because I have to try out to see if I really like it so this is by the brand Mick I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. This is a Korean brand. I purchased this out of I forgot is it eBay or Amazon? I'll see if I can link it down below. So this is the UV Defense Me Capsule Sun Gel and this has the SPF of 50 plus and PA 3 plus. So this is something that is more like a gel finish of a sunscreen. If you guys don't like a sunscreen that it has a white finish and when you put it on your face it just looks like give you like a tint and you don't like that sunscreen smell you guys should try this out because I tried this and I really like the scent of it it just feels like you applying a face moisturizer like a gel serum and on the inside it does have little white gel on the inside of the gel because they break down the sunscreen into the gel formula and that's why you're seeing a lot of kind of white stuff in the gel but they just break down the sunscreen into the gel formula it smells so pleasantly and i have to say i saw this brand they are now in target but they don't have the exact sunscreen they only have a moisturizer or a mask but then i discovered this from a girl who lives in korea so i'm sure this is something that it's good and moving on, I'm spilling my secret out there because you guys can tell I don't have much hair on top. I do have very fine hair and they're very little. I don't have much hair. So before I use this hair product, I have to say I used to clean up my hair drainer like the one in your bathtub to prevent hair goes through. 
the thing I clean out once a week because it does clog up and then water can go through and then it's just a mess but after I use this hair product it changed my life so I do get hair loss a lot and because I do have very oily scalp it's just really easy to get my hair plucked out of my scalp if that makes sense because the surface is very oily and your hair is just very easy to break through your scalp so this is from the brand from Afara, Afida and this is the exfoliating shampoo solution for thinning hair so after I discovered this shampoo actually a friend of mine recommended me on this shampoo and I at least can go through three weeks before cleaning out that drain like the thing that it prevent hair goes through so it does help so I do see the result after using it for a month you don't see a quick result after using it for a day so this is something that you have to keep using for a month to see the result and this is something that it does help me for preventing my hair loss I don't get very oily scalp now at first when I purchased this the salesperson just tell you to get all three sets because they are like in a set and they said if you get all three it just helped a lot and at first I don't believe getting all three will help that and I just want to try out and see if it works and now that I go through two bottles of the shampoo and now that I got a giant one it's very pricey I have to say but it does help my hair loss and now I also get the serum like the spray you have to kind of massage it on your scalp after finishing your shampoo and dry out your hair but I have to say this is some money that you have to invest if you don't want your hair get lost because hair loss is a big problem and I have to say if you guys have to go to the salon or the treatment that it helps your hair growth that is a lot expensive so using this it helps to prevent that and it does help me a lot and I do see the immediate result after using it a month or two so what you actually do when you're in the shower you squeeze this shampoo out and put it on your hair and then you want to run through a little with the water to lather it up because it doesn't lather up by itself you have to mix in a little water to kind of lather up on your scalp and then you massage it for a minute or two and then wash it off and also after I shower, I comb my hair, I don't see a lot of hair coming off of the comb so it really helps my hair loss problem. So what I've been saying, this really changed my life and it does help helping your hair loss. As I get older, I feel like it's just something that you need to befriend and this is like a family genes. I don't have much hair, my brother doesn't have much hair, my family doesn't have much hair. So this is something that I have to get in the earliest age to prevent that happens on me. So last but not least, my favorite item of this month is this bum bum cream. I talk about it in my Sephora Baby Cell haul and because I tried out their sample size, I get to use a couple sample size of it and I finally came across and purchased the whole set. So what really gets me into this, first of all, the scent. It just feels like a perfume, a strict perfume like coconut mixed with vanilla. I feel like it mixed with vanilla, don't quote me on that. But it's just not a strong scent of coconut. That's what I like about it because I don't like coconut scent. If you guys have precision formula bronzer, that is a scent that I hate. I just don't like how strong it smells like. But this cream, it's like changing my perspective of coconut scent because it smells so nice. It's just something that I put it at the day before I have shower at night time and in the morning when I wake up it just smells the same it smells like just a perfume on me and then what I like about it because it's not as greasy as my other body cream it's just kind of a soft fast on your skin so you don't feel that greasy feeling on your skin when you're asleep and after trying it myself I finally know why people have been loving about this at first people say this is like a pleasant of coconut scent i'm just like no that's not for me but after trying out the sample size this has got me and i've been using it every single day now okay guys so that is all the item that i've been loving in this month of april i hope you guys enjoy watching this video if you guys do please give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe down below and click that ring bell button so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video and you get to see it first so i'll see you guys in the next one bye